Well, that was a uh, heartbreaking ending, to say the least. Um, but you, you know what? I am, I'm honestly, I am super proud of this team. They fought hard. Uh, the score is not even close to what I was expecting. They took it to four overtimes, and there's never been an overtime in Iron Bowl history. I'm just, I'm incredibly proud of this team. Defense, if any players see this, defense, you guys killed it. You guys did an incredible job. McCreary, you just rose your draft stock by so much. Um, you made a ton of good plays on the football. Um, I, I was just overall impressed by the defense. You did as much as you possibly could, and I, I'm incredibly proud of this team. Uh, offense, they, they did a lot. Um, they did a lot more than I was expected. I do. I'm going to go ahead and say this and put this out there. I do think, uh, that TJ Finley was done a disservice by leaving him in the game because he was clearly hurt. That's not on him. That's not his fault. He was hurt and the coaches left him in the game. I don't know who would have come in as backup, but when he's sitting there hopping around on one foot for multiple plays, he's not throwing a single pick in the game until he's hurt. And then he throws almost three interceptions, one interception, but two were almost an interception. That is not okay. And that that's on the coaches. So I do, I feel bad for TJ Finley with that. He, he did his best. He was doing better than Bryce Young for most of the game. And, uh, you know, just overall, but you know what, I'm not going to focus on that. What I want to say is that I, I am so impressed with this team and how hard they fought. They gave it their all. They put everything they had on the line trying to win this game. And that shows that even though they've had a disappointing season, they didn't give up. They did everything they could to win the game, and they almost did it. They came within, what, like 40 seconds, less than a minute of winning this ball game. They put it all on the line. They did everything they could, and they just came up short this time. But I'm, I'm really, I'm not disappointed in our players. I'm incredibly proud of you guys. Thank you for putting it all out there and giving the fans a uh, an incredible game to watch. We had a lot of hope watching it, and I, I'm really, I'm not disappointed in the players. Uh, I just, I'm appreciative. I'm appreciative that how hard you guys worked. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for uh, giving us an entertaining game because ultimately, like, uh, Nick Saban said earlier in the week, this is entertainment, and you guys certainly made one of the most entertaining games uh, I've seen in a long time. Unfortunately, it didn't go our way, but, uh, you know, I can't complain a lot about the players, and I'm not going to. I'm, I'm incredibly proud of what you guys did. Uh, I, I'm hopeful that um, next season is going to be even better. I think we're, we're going to have a good shot in whatever bowl game we go to. And I'm hoping that our, our fans are going to be supportive. If you're out there on social media, I hope I only hear you saying good stuff about our players. Don't trash anybody. And if you do, please go ahead and, you know, quit being an Auburn fan. Because what you saw tonight was a valiant effort. They put it all on the line. And you need to be supportive. So support our players. If you want to be mad at anybody, you can be mad at our coaches for some of the decisions they made. But not our players. Awesome job, guys. You put it all out there. I know I'm being repetitive, but I, I'm just, I'm incredibly proud to be an Auburn Tiger. And even though it didn't go our way, I'm still an Auburn fan. I will always be an Auburn fan. War Eagle. And you know what? There's always next year. Guys, it's been a fun season. Uh, thank you for watching these videos. I've had a great time with you guys. We've got one more in the postseason. Regular season is up. But now I'm looking forward to covering the postseason game as well as recruiting. Thank you guys for watching as always. You've made this past year a ton of fun for me. Uh, this channel I started uh, when I, I personally had COVID. I, I was sitting up in this very room. And, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't have a whole lot to do. Um, I had work stuff I was doing, but outside of the work stuff in my free time, I was kind of isolated, started this channel, and it, it's been a lot of fun, and this journey's been great, taking it from zero to over a thousand in this short of time as far as subscribers go. Uh, it's It's been awesome, and I've enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to the postseason. 
as well as the off season with you guys. And I plan on doing this for a while. It's, it's just a hobby for me, but I enjoy it and I enjoy the feedback and I enjoy the community. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one. War Eagle.